Hey guys, I recently did a pull-in video and you guys reached that like goal in ridiculous fast time, which was surprising. I don't know why you guys want to see the late game of pull-in, but I decided I would actually skip forward 100 years and basically I did almost next to nothing in those 100 years. The reason I did this is because I wanted to show that high admin efficiency. What was what was the point of doing all that anyways, right? So just to give you a recap of what I've done, I tried to do very little. So I basically did almost nothing for 100 years. I just got this great project from Spain and upgraded it, and then I also upgraded a Berlin to rank 3. I got my uh, absolutism up to max, and that's about it. So I just wanted to show you guys what the late game might look like. Very high admin efficiency. I also wanted to demonstrate how powerful this is, as I basically did nothing for 100 years, and you'll see I'm still going to be able to do insanely well from this point on. So to start off... Forming Rome is a good choice in your late game, if you'd like. It has very good ideas. So, and I did manage to take Rome. I think I did that way earlier, but I, I took Rome maybe 100 years ago or something like that. So I did complete this mission too, uh, you, where you build a bunch of universities to get some reform progress. I tried to keep what I did to a minimal, so I could kind of just skip to the late game, because you guys probably don't watch the late game a ton, so I actually wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see what the late game is like, because I know a lot of YouTubers don't like the showcasing the late game as much. And we're, of course, just hitting that Tech 23. I wanted to kind of show you that, right, you know, that late game imperialism time. And to showcase something cool is you might think, oh, well, you're never going to be able to integrate these guys like Hungary, right? Like, well, you might be surprised that I could actually integrate him in about maybe 13 years. So we're going to start doing that. It's really not that bad. Let's show you guys what this ab efficiency is all about. So I'm going to kick off my first war. We're going to go ahead and go to war with Venice, imperialism. Sure, I'll, co I'll cobble your everyone except the Ottomans and just go ahead and declare this war. And I like to stack my guys in stacks of 100 in the later parts of the game. You'll need good land attrition to do this, though. I didn't show my ideas, but actually what I, what I ended up doing is abandoning espionage in favor of diplomatic for the war score cost. And then I went um, humanist and quantity for the land attrition mod here. Humanist is also good for world conquest, as it lets you kind of conquer more without dealing with the rebels. So that's going to be helpful. Now, I, I would only recommend stacking in 100 during the war. After the war, you're going to want to split back up. So this is going to cost you a bit of attrition, and we, we even want, we want to get more land attrition mods as the game goes on. And when you're doing Imperialism War, always try to get to the War Goal as fast as possible. And I did build a navy just for this. Oh, I need to upgrade it though, don't I? Eh, let's, let's do that. Let's take some loans, upgrade our ships. Kind of forgot about this. There's some pretty dangerous mountain provinces here that I need to be careful not to get my guys killed in. Alright, I'm going to send my ships over. I'll grab Regensburg here. There's some nice border gore, I need to give that over to him or something. And accidentally, okay, my, my land attrition mod is not good enough yet. I need to get better land attrition mods, I'm realizing. Because I am dying for stacking it that hard. And yeah, my land attrition mods are not quite up to scuff. The war goal in hand, it's going to be easy from here. Just kind of siege everything out. And that should be fine. Probably got to split my guys a little bit better than I did in this war. Because I'm apparently my land attrition mod is not as good as I had hoped. So I didn't couple with the Ottomans, so I'll just let him, uh, well, I just make him a new with these two guys. And then I let him out. He's just, then he'll just be allied to Venice. We just have the knights in Denmark left. I think the knights own, like, what, a weird province down here? I don't have any transport ships, I realize, though. So until I get my land attrition mod better, I'm going to have to manage my troops a little bit better, unfortunately. Basically, I don't have any transport ships. I'm probably not going to be able to take his last province here, but I'm going to take everything else that he owns. And that'll yeah, take some money. There we go. So basically just completely wiped out Venice very easily. And we can concentrate development because we are going to be overextended by a lot, probably. Yeah, let's try to concentrate a bit. And we we're going to lose a bunch of dev, but it doesn't really matter. Eh, it didn't really save us. <laughs> okay, we're just going to have to deal with it if it's a problem. Just core up everything. You notice that things are also extremely cheap to core. Like, everything's like 10 points or something. So basically, just took all of NS relatively cheap. Oh yeah, we also can integrate him. Forgot we needed uh, Iberia as well for the, for the to form room. Remember, we're doing a half-state style as well, so we're not going to be fully stating things up. We're just going to be half-stating. Alright, I'm going to go to war with Spain now. I'm going to go Imperialism. And yeah, that should be good. He's gonna be this is gonna be probably our biggest war of the game left, so could be interesting. And again, our goal is just kinda of get to the capital ASAP. Huge battle here. Are we fighting in mountains too? Oh yeah. Probably took a lot of losses because of that being a mountain for it. Look at those nice losses, guys. And we're gonna use this mountain and <laughs> crush you. How about that? How about that? We know about the mountains too, guys. We're gonna slack in a bit here because we are uh, yeah, we're um we're struggling with manpower, guys. What's happening? We'll see if we can do anything about this. This is actually a little rough. Oh yeah, manpower recovery speed, please. Alright, we made it, guys. We made it to his capital. It was painful. Alright, guys, this is the guide on how to fight super inefficiently. And yeah, just keep do, do what I do. Stack all your guys up. 
Are we fighting in the mountains again? Please, please no. Why me? Why do I keep fighting in the mountains, guys? Not like this. I'm also in a billion dollars of debt. How much money just can I take from Spain? Maybe what we just need is 5,000 ducats to pay off my loans. No, I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to end this war here. I'm just going to take all of Italy, Malta Forts, this and this. Just a bunch of land. I don't want to overextend it again, so I'm just going to not get overextended. But yeah, we're obviously going to take a ton of territory. We get 398 power projection, so that's ideal. I'm going to stop slacking as well. Don't need to do that anymore. Kind of see the uh, you can get these massive gains in these wars when you have this uh, high value here, right? We've only done two wars, and we've probably gone up at least 2,000 ever more. We're definitely going to be getting our, our trade value in Genoa. It's probably... Yeah, we're about to we're about to make a lot more, more from trade, I would imagine. Yeah, we're making way, way more money from trade now. But we don't need all these forts, because there's a million of them. We need to build more transport ships. We'll, we'll get there. And now we're just going to keep keep going on. You know, I'll ally to Portugal just so I can make them break alliance with Spain. How about that? Why not? Let's see. Curry favors... Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna make him do that. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna kind of look around and be like, okay, might as well kill Sweden, right? At some point, we can try for maintenance. We we actually do need to start getting some uh, government buildings going. Try for maintenance for just a little bit here. And yeah, I have humanists, so I can kind of uh, yeah, things are a lot better now. Might as well quickly kill off Sweden. He's just like asking for it, so <laughs> can do that real fast. Wait, to maintenance first. Get to the point where you start to have to build some lot, lots and lots of town halls. By the way, that's gonna be your new thing. You're just a town hall simulator. Basically, all your money goes into town halls for a while. I guess I could I could expand my uh, administration a few times. But yeah, I want to state up all of this stuff. It's still corn. Well, let's murder uh, Denmark. No, no, let's let's murder Sweden here. Why not? We got the Enlightenment here. That's nice. Keep converting for your points, by the way. You'll you'll eventually become the power controller unless your luck is just bad forever. All right, so I can just go ahead and uh, finish this war off. So grabbing colonization. I just see it's only 36% war score. Take money. I'm gonna try to build more ships now, like lots of transports. Probably like at least 100 transports to cross to Great Britain successfully. Probably more heavies too. Hey, Great Britain is a hedge of me. Look at that. Probably a naval hedge. <laughs> yeah, crossing over to his land is gonna suck. Kill Denmark now. Why not? And I recommend getting an auto clicker for this at some point because it's gonna be tedious. Just a heads up if you're doing a world conquest. I integrated Hungary now. That's gonna be a lot of a lot of land. When you integrate a nation, you're gonna have to state and unstate because you actually don't want the full state ever. We're going to have to figure this out a bit. So again, you got a state, unstate state when you integrate. Forgot the integration policy, dang it. Don't do that, guys. You should get the integration policy so you don't troll yourself like I just... Oh, well. So we're probably never crossing the water. We're also probably way over gub cap. You got to fix that. That is... That's the problem, guys. Holy... Yeah, we need to, like, take lots of loans or something to build. Let's do that. Lots of loans here. We're just going to be building as many of these things as we can. Because, yeah, we uh, just... Uh, we're... That's 700 over cup cap or so. That's uh, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue. You don't want to find yourself 700 over cup cap. Like, it's probably even more loans. Let's be real. I mean, we're just paying a casual 113 uh, a turn on interest. It's fine. Hopefully that makes a dent because we spent like all our money. We don't really have any more money to spend. If we can't cross the water, I don't really know. We gotta like call all our ships to try to cross that water. I had no admiral. Maybe that's the problem. But I'm not never gonna have points because I'm annexing. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, that immediately fixed my gub cap problem, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I went down like several hundred. Okay, cool. Oh, we're still building more too. Oh yeah, we're ch whoa, wow. Okay, we're we're gonna be good on GovCap for a little bit here. Oh, is it time to go back to the Prussian gut monarchy? Like apparently I could, cause I'm like insane. I'm like insanely under my GovCap. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? I want to cross the water so badly. I get one diplo point a month, guys. It's just gonna be for like 50 months, and I can do it. Ah, do I just have to let him keep a province? Maybe I just have to let him keep his plan for now. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, we're making one final push for it. One final push for it. Wish we could afford an admiral, but it's just not going to happen. Actually, hold on. It's, it's, it could happen. Let me get like a plus three uh, non diplo rep guy, and maybe I can like uh, you know make it work. I actually get like three points a month, guys. I can get an admiral in like a you know <laughs> a few months, like a year here. Oh my gosh, we're getting an admiral. It's just going to be like a year. There we go. All right, it's time to it's time to see what we're made of, men. Can we can we win this war? Or is it? Or are you gonna be defeated? We're getting defeated, guys. It's it's happening. Wait, run here. Maybe they're distracted. I should have gone for the distraction fleet play, guys. Damn. All right, we're going for the distraction fleet play. It's not too late. That we just have to accept that we're never gonna cross the water. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. Go 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 now go now. Guys, have they fallen for the oldest trade play in the book? The distraction fleet. 
I think they're about to fall for it. Oh, you guys better force march across the- Ooh, they fell for it, guys. It's over. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. You hate to see it. Okay, you're gonna murder my ships? Come let them go, let them go. No! Poor ships, guys, poor ships. At least I have a lot of trans- I I'm gonna need a way better navy to fight Great Britain, by the way. For now, we can actually win this war. 40,000 40, ducats in debt. Ouch. Ouch. That's a lot of debt, guys. Oh, we get the institution, though, so we might as well, you know, turn that debt into some more debt. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I'm gonna brace the institution here. Yeah, we're only, um, yeah. We're a few ducats in debt. <laughs> yeah, so we're a few ducats in debt. What, what are we at now? Oh, we're just a solid, uh, 59,000 in debt, but that's, you know, that's just a number. All right, complete this, uh, governance tax. I don't even really know what it does. I don't know what the constitution of 1708 is. Lose 150 reform, lose stability, advances Aventech by one level. What? What? <laughs> Hello? This is the most broken shit I've ever seen in my life. Well, we're scum saving, guys. We're saving that till 26. Holy broken. Hey, guys, that blew my mind. I'm not gonna lie. That is the most broken shit I've ever seen. What in the, the hell is that? All right. We're gonna take some more love. We're not gonna complete that mission. But we're gonna we're gonna get the institution again. Holy, guys. That is imbalanced as hell. All I gotta do is get to the tech 26, and then I can just go to tech 27 instantly and have my... Yeah, that's... that's. I love when they forget to balance things. That seems so unreasonably overpowered. All right, so we defeated Denmark. I've kind of forgot we were fighting Denmark because that that admin was just mind blowing. I don't even know how to. I don't even really know what they're thinking about on the balance team over there. That's actually so insane. That's gonna speed your world conquest by like unfathomable amounts. By the way, guys, I can't really get over how broken that is. By the way, that's gonna speed your your conquest insanely, like a lot. Oh my gosh. A little bit in just awe about how broken that is. All right, I'm gonna get full organization here. It looks good. All right, guys. I'm just gonna hang out until I can get my tech to 26. So I'm gonna automatically push it to 27 because, yeah, we're gonna show you that 90% admin efficiency that we promised. So we're gonna be annexing our subjects and hanging out for as many years as it takes for that to happen. Oh yeah, you want the center of evolution to appeal, appear rather, in your provinces, because then you can get rid of it sooner. So we're officially in the age of revolutions. They pulled a fast one on me and uh, took away my. I have an efficiency that I forgot about. Center of Revolution appeared in my province. That's that's good. I mean, it's kind of annoying that it's way up there, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, we can get our first perk here. We got no Poland thing? Come on, game. I demand a Poland specific thing. Oh, uh, I don't really know what I want. I guess I can go with this ignoring, ignore according distance. I could also go with this one too, but I'm probably going to be hanging out for a bit, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just go with this unrestricted conquest one here. All right, so I could make the ec economic hegemon, which is which you could do. Well, it's very good, but I'm gonna do something else. So, all right, we're uh, you know we're slowly getting out of debt. We're still in debt quite a bit, but we're we're still 37k in debt. That's not that bad. It could be worse. Oh, you we're the revolution thing is here, so that we're gonna get a bunch of mad. By the way, that's what the revolution is good for, making your nation really, really mad. <laughs> you gotta get your capital though before you can get rid of it. I'm about to do the most broken thing I've ever imagined, but <laughs> we get this tech. And then we're gonna get this, uh, this done. Constitution here. Yeah, we're gonna take that avid level. And yeah, that seems really balanced. 445% ahead of time. Don't mind that we're imbalanced, okay? That is hilarious. That is hilariously broken. Oh my goodness, I love it. I didn't even know that was a thing, guys. So we're gonna take defensive because we get land attrition when we combined it with the other one. That is just wildly broken. I can't, I, I can't quite wrap my, wrap my mind around why that's a thing. But I love it. Of course, that's going to integrate both our guys because we're at 90% admin efficiency. We're actually 165% integrating France now. Okay, so we integrated everything. Okay, I just need to recruit a little more guys and I can get the hegemony as well, the military hegemony. There's so many guys. Okay, we have a thousand guys now. And they're all just in horrible stacks that I don't like. All right, we need to state everything up too. Or state everything up. We probably need to build some more buildings, huh? Yeah, we're going to be like way over GovCap for a second, so... We're going to do the same type of thing with, with loans, probably, so we're going to grab, like, state everything. Oh, I need to unstate, restate, I forgot. Okay, after I do this, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do a thing. I'm going to have to unstate everything after this, because I kind of forgot about that, so. And this can be good to do as, like, a refresh every once again, because you're going to get a lot of times where you accidentally state things. What I'm going to do is actually do the painful process of unstating everything. And yeah, this is going to suck, because I own way too much land now, but we're, it, we're going to do it. This will just make sure that nothing is accidentally fully stated. We want half states only. That is how we play. The late game, or that's how I like to play the late game. All right, so we restated, unstated, restated. Yeah, see that fixed our gap cap problem a lot. So we are now one large family of guys, for a speak. I'm gonna stack all my shifts up. 
I probably need to recruit even more ships to deal with uh, Great Britain, which I want to do in a second here. But I'm going to claim this uh, military hegemon here. You can do a military or a economy, but I like this one for the line attrition mod. Also the siege ability. So we're going to do that. All right, guys. Well, I think we want to take advantage of our insane avid efficiency here. I just don't know how. There's too many. There's too many troops. All these stacks suck. I'm going to try to like fix these stacks. I'm going to start making the stacks like this, along them 100. So I want to like, yeah, get like armies that make sense. We're going to try to just like create some good army templates. They're all just like these awful army templates. I want that. Yeah, I definitely want land attrition mods so I can back my guys like idiot, like idiot. Sentences are hard. Where are these horses, guys? What, what are we doing with horses? Oh, I forgot to upgrade that great project, guys. Totally space this thing here. Malta forts. Very good, great project. Wood upgrade. All right, I think it's time to teach Spain a lesson. We'll just send a thousand guys into <laughs> at Spain, you know? Send a full thousand at him and see how he does. Although we should probably deal with the revolution first, because the revolution's super annoying. All right, we're going to get artillery bonus versus forts here. Yeah, we gotta, we're going to have to get to 100 professionals. I'm trying to just fix my stacks because they have so many... Yeah, I got to get rid of horses, guys. Especially as uh, the Commonwealth, you don't want horses. I want you guys to all rage when I have zero horses as the Commonwealth. It's going to work. Just wait for the comments. Yeah, I'm just going to stack up and send a thousand guys at Spain. Like, you know, it's the only thing that... It's, it, that feels natural, right? Just sending a thousand guys into one battle. All right, we want to deal with this revolution thing, too. Let's see. Well, how close is it? Check on our revolution timing. It's, like, real, real close. So I think I'm going to just get ready to deal with the revolution real fast. All right, guys, we, we must spam heavies. It's the only way. It's the only way. So we should be getting this disaster, I think, soon. Oh, we gotta get our stability down. How do we get our stability down? Uh, mm, hmm. Must lose stability. Must lose. How do we do this thing? I'm trying to figure out a way to lose stability, guys, but without doing something I don't want to do. Um, let, let's attack. Let's attack. Uh, Khmer. <laughs> the only way. The only. Dang it! Only gives me one stab. Come on. How do I make it give me more stab drop? This is awful. I only lose one stability. Well, let's at least lose. We gotta lose one stability first. I don't lose stability for that. Wait, no. I could. What? Come on. <laughs> that's not cool. I don't even lose stability for no C being. Well, that's not cool. We have a positive stability problem we need to fix. I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out because we can't. We can't get this disaster when we have too good of stability. Oh, it's hard times. How do I fix this? How does one lose stability? Apparently, no C being doesn't work. All right, guys, this is only one thing to do at a time like this. I'm at war? God damn it. No. This wasn't what we wanted, guys. We made it. We made the mistake here. Like, right, I was trying to solve this weird problem. How to stability drop. And now I'm at a war that I don't... Okay, he doesn't want to be there anymore. He wants to go home. All right, well, that, that didn't work, guys. But, okay. We have a brilliant idea that will definitely probably work. We're going to release... A sl We're going to create a client state, and then... Uh, we're going to declare war on that client state, okay? It's genius. They'll never see it coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They never saw it coming. Give me that revolution. Disaster, please. There we go, guys. And best of all, I'm going to get this new province. All right, guys. I'm just going to end this war. I, I crushed this guy, really. I'm taking his money. Okay, guys. You got to deal with the rebels, though. When you get the revolution, like, you got to make sure you don't have rebels. Which I probably can't do because, you know, there's too many rebels. But we're going to try. Could be out alone someday, I think, too. Yeah, we're actually kind of close. Three more loans. But we gotta get this disaster triggered. You gotta be careful with this disaster, guys, because it can screw you over if you're not careful with it, I'm telling you. Like, you can throw your campaign away on this disaster if you're not careful. Just, I'm warning you, okay? Respect this disaster. It spreads pretty fast, too, so you don't have to, like, wait a ton, but you have to wait a little bit. So, but when the revolution pops, you want there to be no rebels, and you're gonna wanna... So you'll see it pop here in a month. Okay, so you're gonna lose a bunch of stability, and you're gonna get rebels... Those rebels are just, like, normal. These are non-revolution rebels. But what you're going to want to do here is find where they're going to spawn. And you're going to want to show them their place. So it's going to be Agnagon and Ix. Does it show me? Agnagon. Ix. Ix is, like, down here, I think. Yeah, they're, they're right here. So what you're going to want to do, you need to clear out your other rebels first. But this is, like, again, you really want to, like, take this seriously. So before, I'm going to send these two guys, these two stacks, like, ready to go. So I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to be, like, ready for these guys to spawn straight away, right? Because this, this is like a horrible disaster if you don't respect it. Or it's the easiest disaster ever if you respect it. I'm going to go, we, we might show these up starts their place. And I'm literally standing in these two spots, right? And we're going to want to finish off these other rebels too. Because this disaster can't end when there's rebels. But this, this disaster can be terrible if you're not ready for it. Like 100%. So I'm literally going to like barrage. I'm going to like assault this. Like both of these. And we need three stab. And I can use, what I'll do is use 
Uh, you see, I'm, I'm super negative, so I have tons of points saved, luckily, right? But I'm going to go to two, and then I'll use my last points for this. So that's how you deal with it correctly. But if you don't deal with it correctly, it, will, it can screw you over. It's all, that's, that's all I'll say. Now that that's dealt with, we are basically 90% admin efficiency and ready to do whatever the hell we want to, basically, right? We, we can do whatever we feel like. So let's, you know... Let's do let's 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 do at least a few wars for you guys to show you what that's like. I'm not gonna like you know I don't need to like to go through the whole conquest. I could, but it's gonna show you guys a couple wars. I don't want to bore you guys to death. You should probably have all plus five advisors when you make 500 a turn. Just uh, you know something I <laughs> could have been doing. But okay, let's declare on Spain. Oh, we were gonna make him a break uh, Portugal break alliance with him. I thought we were gonna do that. Yeah, that'll that'll just help a little bit. But okay, so we're gonna declare war on Spain. Imperialism. And let's jump into it. And again, you want to get straight to the capital. So yeah, don't yeah. You can obviously overcommit at this point. You've got a billion guys, but I would just recommend like assaulting through the capital so you get the wars as fast as possible. Like I'm even gonna like stack five. I don't care. Like if I want to stack 500 guys, I'll stack 500 guys, right? I can't be stopped. Yeah, I'll put 500 guys on this. I'm not afraid. What's a little attrition, right? All right, I could I could uh yeah, I'll do one more, but I don't need to go like I don't need to assault every fort here. I'm just kind of like yeah, I can split up and now just kind of like play it a little slower. And I could be even. I could probably start like another war, like maybe if I want to go over here in wars. Like, if you're really in a world conquest, you should be like warring in every direction at this point. But it's not necessarily like I'm like, yeah, like, like this is a video, it's not necessarily like I'm trying to world conquest right now. You know, I have ridiculous amounts of guys, but yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, crush this guy, I guess. I don't know. He doesn't have nearly the guys to fight me, and I've already got the wars, the war goal, right? Really, I could just like keep, if I want, I could just keep assaulting. I basically have infinite manpower. Well, throwing away a lot of my manpower, but like. I'm not even really worried about it. You know, chase him down, like, kill him off. You're probably not gonna ever get, like, enough war score unless you send your ships over. Like, if I really wanted to win this war correctly, which I probably should, I should probably just, like, send, um, some ships to the new world. In fact, we'll, we'll not be lazy. How about? How about? We'll actually send, send guys to the new world, if we can find them. Where'd they go? Okay, we'll just recruit a new, new group. I can't find them. We'll, we'll go recruit 100 guys. Like, we could probably even send 200 guys. Let's send 200 guys over to the New World. If you want to take down Spain, I, you really have to, unfortunately, commit to the New World, and it really is annoying. But remember, Spain is probably the, you know, one of the most annoying people left. It's all it's all the colonizers that are going to be the, your most annoying problems left. But let's deal with it, right? It's not really that hard to deal with. You just have to do it. What else to say? You just, get the, you just have to actually do it. All right, so we're going to send 200 guys over to the New World here. Watch them all get killed at sea. It's probably going to happen. But if it doesn't happen, then we're going to send 200 guys to the New World. So attach the transport and let's just sail them. Oh, he has like all of this shit over here. Okay. He doesn't really, he's not that impressive colonial, colony wise, I guess. But we'll just go here. No, it's, we're just fighting him and then the knights, I guess. But we'll just keep making this war go on. Like, yeah, this is going to be uh, one of the few wars left that might be hard. And let's see, did I make my ships over here? Okay, so we're going to take our guys and unload here. Start causing some havoc in the new world. And it costs a lot of attrition to send your guys over here. Just be warned. What you can do too is like take one province so you can land your ships so they can repair and stuff. But I'm just gonna go like straight. Uh, I should get leader actually, and then we can go straight for the kind of the you go straight for the capitals in the new world. That's how you're gonna get the most war score or the forts. I don't really know what to do with my admin points because I'm so far out of time. We're just gonna siege out different uh, places here. That should be good. We're gonna have to get our ships back over to deal with that. Go to semi ships back to cross the water. I always find it a little annoying to fight colonies too. Just, yeah, colonial nations because you have to go. Sell over to the new worlds, basically. Could probably pay off our loans, we're kind of getting close to that point. There's just like one more loan. But yeah, we can break alliance with Portugal, because we're going to want to war with him later too, I forgot about that. And yeah, I'm not doing very well I, I, with the colonial game, because I'm lazy. That's just super annoying, he won't, he won't leave because he has colonial land, like he won't give up. So I'm going to end the war with Spain, taking like everything I can and then vassalizing him, because I can't get a fort down here. There's a fort down here, so that's fine though. But, uh, so yeah, just basically one war Spain. And that's nice. He's gonna be probably like disloyal, but you know, whatever. I don't even know where he exists exactly. It's funny is we're not even overextended, taking like all of everything's faint out. It's also like so cheap to core everything. Oh yeah, we can pay off our loans now. Nice. And then we can build, we can play our simulator uh, here, our government building simulator. Go ahead and attack the Mamluks here. That's good. Yeah, no, why not? Let's attack the Mamluks. Can also dev up uh, our Basilon. Where, where does he live though? He lives somewhere in an island here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna dev up. Bane just a bit, so he's not mad. There we go. I'm trying to build some more ships for Great Britain eventually. I'm just gonna end this war here and take like most of the stuff I need to form form Rome. That's fine. Go ahead and attack Portugal now. It's kind of one of the stronger nations left. No one's really that strong at this point, but they're the best they've got. 
take a bunch of Portugal stuff. I don't feel like going crazy. So I'm just going to take a bunch of his land here. That should be fine with me. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and attack Great Britain next. Could be a relatively easy or imperialism as always. See if see if I can cross the water or not. We're about to find out. Shall try to cross the water. And this is what this is what happens, guys. They have ships. We have to leave. Yeah, this is this is the problem. So now we need decoy ships, guys. Well I'll split it in half. You gotta make sure that they they can't get through. Split in half. We're just carting. They can't get through. You you will uh, I will stop you from getting through. You can't I can't be stopped, guys. This is my four prong suicide the ship's plan. Reinforce. Reinforce. Yep, get in there. Wait, we gotta hold these guys. Maybe these guys need to hold the, the suicide front, though. No, go go reinforce. Alright, you guys lose. Sucks to suck, Great Britain. I made it on the I made it. That's how you defeat Great Britain. You just gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta get creative sometimes. And then once you own one province, you're good to go. Because you can do this. You just attach, and you basically just have to cross the water. Wait for it. You gotta get the guys with you, though. That's, that's, that's part of it. <laughs> now, let's try to get, try to get. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, very, Great Britain's very annoying. He fell for the uh, the the four prong distraction play, and it's over. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass getting across that water. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I think I'm gonna end the war with him and just kind of take like all of Great Britain. All right, so we're just gonna take all of his mainland stuff, and yeah, I'm just gonna take all of uh, you know all the land here, and that's only 45 war score, which is crazy, and that's good. So I've gotten I've acquired all of Great Britain or up here at least. Concentrating dev a little bit, I think, gonna be a little overextended. Just a, just a hair. See if I can get rid of it. Eh, probably not. But just a hair overextended, though. Alright, so we just need, like, a few more provinces, I guess. So we gotta go down here and def def fight these guys. So let's send some of our guys home. We're gonna have to fight this guy anyway, so I'm just gonna attack Kazan. Yeah, I'm just gonna declare on Kazan. Start pushing for his capital. It's gonna take forever to core things, unfortunately. So I gotta, like, drag this war out for, like, way too long. Alright, everything's cored up. And you can, of course, state that up. Half state. That's pretty normal. The Mughals are being kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna go attack him. His capital's all in, in Africa, though. Not not literally in Africa, it's just, you know, distance from me is like like Africa. So we're just gonna go straight for his capital, the Mughals. We're gonna try to get to his capital, it's gonna be a journey. Where is his capital? Oh my gosh, it's so far away. Oh yeah, we're at Worth Kazan. I kind of forgot. Right, right, we're at Worth Kazan. Alright, what do we want from him? Alright, we'll, we'll just... I'll end the Worth Kazan. Um, he can keep this province. Sure. Wait, I don't want to be overextended. No, wait, wait, wait. We're good. We're not going to overextend it. Alright, I'm just it there. That's good. Core of it. Core it all up. Now we're going to rush down this guy's capital. And we're actually going to go to war with, uh... Let's, we need to fight the Mamluks to form Rome. That's kind of what we're, uh, you know, we're calling our, uh... Quote-unquote, uh, our goal of forming Rome. We just have to make it all the way to Delhi. Alright, guys. Charge to Delhi. To his capital. I'm just gonna run around and siege out a few of his forts. I don't really care to get a ton from this guy. I just like want to form Rome, right? It's kind of my goal right now. I just kind of finish off this run, form Rome, get to a good stopping point. So we're gonna declare war on this guy here. I'm not at war with this guy. No, I'll fix that. Now we're at war with this guy. So I'm gonna grab these three, th these three things from the Mamluks, and then I don't know, maybe just like a few more things, just because why not? Why not? You know? Yeah, sure. That that, that works. Thanks, thanks, buddy. All right, I'm gonna end this war with this dude. I think, uh, it's problems with you. What the hell? <laughs> Why you guys analyze this situation is very weird. I'm at war with this guy? Here? But I'm already at war with him here! This is an impossibility. This is the same war twice. What the hell is going on, guys? That's well, you never play with a late game. Stuff like this happens, okay? You're like, what the hell? I don't really know what I need exactly, but if I take a bunch of stuff, I'm sure it'll be enough. Like, I'm sure, you know, just keep clicking, it'll be enough provinces, right? I think that's pretty good to form Rome, like, uh, yeah, that's gonna be enough to form Rome, I think. So, cool. We did it. Maybe. What is this for? Okay, I guess I'm still at a war. That's so weird. Apparently the game doesn't know what to do if you're already at war with the personal union leader. The game's like, what? This doesn't make sense. That's fine. I'm just gonna wipe peace this guy. I don't care about him. Okay. We're just gonna core up everything. We just want to form Rome to kind of get to a good, uh, you know, a good wrapping up point for you guys. Oh, no. The knights, they've survived. We must kill them. Alright guys, here's a, you know, make a guide on this, but this is how you guarantee to get elected as a powerful controller, right? You just have to kill every other Catholic. And it's easy. Okay, it's easy. Oh, oh, we got our, uh, oh yeah, we got our hegemony now. Cool. So we got our, uh, extra this. So we can, um, artillery level bonus first is plus two, gov cap plus 15. Very nice. And then we're gonna finish this one off. We just need to own a little more crown land. Let's just dev up for that. 
We need 90% crown land. That should be good, right? And we're done with that one. Now we can complete this one down here. And this will allow us to have a second golden age, I believe. Cool, so we can have a new golden age. That's super nice. Complete this just to complete it. What do you want me to do? Raya? Okay, what, what do you want me to do with the incorrect spell to Riga? To improve five times this level two trade? Sure, sure, sure. That was it done. Okay, what do you want me to do here? I already did it. Okay. So proud of myself. All right. Smolensk area. You want me to have 10 dev? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Sure. Done with that. What do you want? If I already did this, but... Nice. We have negative 15% CCR for 25 years. That should, that should be pretty insane for our um, World Conquest, actually. 25 years of negative uh, 15% core creation cost is actually pretty big. And that's good. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and form the Roman Empire. Restore the Roman Empire now. And, of course, we're going to hit yes, please. Look at that really bright red. It hurts your eyes, so it, it'll help you quick, you know, complete your world conquest quicker because, you know, your eyes will start hurting and you'll be like, I have to get this done. There it is. All right. All right. So we make some money. Yeah, money's fine. We're not hurting for money. <laughs> so, cool. And, of course, that's going to be a good wrapping up point. And, of course, the Roman Empire is all about this. You get this 25% CDCR and years of separatism. We'll notice right right now, if I wanted to continue in this World Conquest, right, I would obviously have... So I have 90, 90 I have an efficiency, and then for now, my core creation cost is negative 70%. So that's that's really, really good. So I'll give you an example. This only takes 10 months to core, so that's super convenient. Anyways, you could easily World Conquest from this point, obviously. So just to give you an idea of how powerful Poland is, I basically did nothing for 100 years, and I could still easily World Conquest. No problem at all. And here's that final um, snapshot here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I, I know a lot, a lot of you don't love the late game stuff. So, hey, sorry, but I don't do a ton of late game stuff. But yeah, there's your there's your bit of late gameplay for those who did who did like it. And as always, have a great day, and thanks for watching.